Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to combine uh, template strings from ES6 with HTML. So how to do this? Um, so I, would, I have just a very simple HTML page and a uh, JavaScript which is empty. So what I would like to do is to create a class first and I would like to call it um, template view with a constructor and I would like to invoke the constructor otherwise nothing will, will happen. So let's do this and uh, also I will just print something out Initial, initialized. So it looks good and we see it in the console so it seems to work. Now what we need here a tag let's say go with main the main tag and this is going to be our output and I will also need at least a button uh, or just click me. So we have the button and if we click the button here we will use template to, to, to generate the, uh, the output here. So how to do this? First I would like to reference the, uh, the main we have only one main, so I will just use the text selector and also um, I would like to select the button as well. So this button and uh, let's introduce a method and change and the method is uh, change view with some, let's say with a date and now I will just go here and use a multi-line string. This is the backtick in ES6. And now I can create my template. And let's say it is P and then I have a diff with, let's say date, this is this date. And then what I can also do, let's say I have here a caption, let caption equals duke and this can be also dynamic so I can say diff and then span and use caption so this will look like this and close the p so and now I only have to use or register a on click listener and I will use the fat arrow functions. I'm not interested in the event. And I would like to call this change view. And let's say I will just pass a date. So change view on date. This is going to be the date. And with a little bit of luck, it should work. So let's see what happens. So we have this. And if we change that and look at the elements, we will see that this actually changes every time. So we use ES6 templates to generate dynamic HTML with some placeholder or parameters. So uh, this is actually um, interesting if you if you if you need to structure little snippets with ES6. So um, if you're interested in web standards, um, take a look at webstandards.training, or see you at conferences, uh, projects, or even at ehex.com. So thank you for watching and bye.